Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Briggs. This is my dad, Brett. Hello! And we are from Miles Pella Stokes. Today, we're going to be focusing on the control board replacement on an old classic Pella stove called the Whitfield Advantage. And these guys were very well popular. Well, oh, you know, how, when were they popular? What years? Well, Older than me, I am. Well, to <laughs> me, I mean, this stove here is about 24, 25 years old. And, I, and to me, they're one of the most mass-produced pellet stoves in America, and there's still a lot of them out there, and they're dang good stoves. And if you find one that isn't roached or rusted out, and you get a good deal on it, I would go for it, because I really, really like these stoves. And so some of the control boards are available, some of them are not. And so Briggs is going to kind of give you the ins and outs on the control boards, how to replace one, and then there will be more videos following this one this week for you and your family. So, welcome! Let's, Let's go to it. work. <laughs> okay, friends, now, stop a minute and plug your stove and plug and plug and plug your stove before you do any work on it. And if you feel uncomfortable with it, then call your local service provider. So, this is the tools you need. You can use an impact and a 5 16th and a quarter inch adapter for the impact, or you can use a regular socket and a wrench here and that would be a quarter inch or five sixteenth you can use it the old-fashioned way it's pretty easy so we'll go to the next step and again welcome all right let's tackle your control board so we're gonna come over to the right side of the stove here and your control board is gonna be on this side now to disconnect this we're gonna be unscrewing a bolt right here oh right, right. right there and then also, we're going to be disconnecting the wire harness from the inside. Now, I like to have a lot of room, so I kind of like to get in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up this panel here. Now, to do that, you're going to take your fire door. You're going to open it up. You're going to see two more bolts right here. And this is where your 5 sixteenths will come in handy. And we're going to unscrew that one. And unscrew that one as so. Put our tools down, we're gonna come on in here. You're gonna see all the wire harness, full access to the right side. Over here, we're gonna go to the Molex connector. I'm gonna take and pinch from the top and the bottom, and we're gonna gently pull it out as so. Now your control board's free from the wires that is. We're gonna go switch over to a quarter inch, and come over on this side. And I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna hold the board so it doesn't fall. And we're gonna undo that last screw right there. Then the board's gonna come out as so. And there you have it, your board's out. All right, so real quick before we put this in, there's a few things I'd like to touch upon. So if you look back here, besides your main connection for all you know, the controls of the control board. There's also a few other things too. Right here, if you're wondering what this red wire is, this is an optional area where you can hook up an external thermostat. Also down here, you have access to a fuse. So this is another thing to check out too as well, just in case if you just have a burnout fuse rather than a burnout board. So check that real quick if you're ever having some control board issues with a Whitfield stove. Another thing right here is a little adjuster knob so you can adjust the convection fan blower speed. Kind of handy. All right, now we're going to slowly put it back. And essentially, it's just going backwards for what we did. So we're going to come over here. We're going to take our screw, take our tool, get it ready. Start from the bottom. There is a little lip there that you want to make sure you are getting into. Come back over here. And then we're going to slowly just start putting it back in. Just backwards. You don't need to do it tight, folks. That's plastic. Last thing you want to do is crack that. Then come over here. Always be careful of your wire. And you want to gently put it back just as when you took it out. So right here. And then once you see and hear that snap, both from the top and the bottom, you look for both sides. You're golden right there. Make sure your wires are staying inside and not pinched. Let that sit as so. We're going over here, and we're just going to start sealing it up. Just like that. And one last one. And right there. 
control board, it's all sold. So Briggs just went over this control board, and this Whitfield Advantage to me is a fantastic stove. And you can put it in the comments if, if, if you think differently, but I think it was well made and it's a dang good stove. But I tell you what, when you're out, if you do have one of these or if you're shopping for one of these, I can tell you this, this is the old analog board. They do not produce this board any longer. So if you can, look for a Whitfield stove that has this control board on it because of March of 2024, these are still available. But if you have a very, very old stove, let's say it's depreciated out, it's done its time, and you have one of these boards, and it's still good, take it out, put it on eBay, make a few dollars, and help somebody else out at their home and keep their stove going. And that's it, guys. You guys got a control order in your Whitfield Advantage belt stove, and you are good to go. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.